What's up Beyonders, James here. And in today's video, we'll be focusing on the champion of Kaon, the scourge of Cybertron, the prime slayer, and the true leader of the Decepticons, Megatron. I'm pumped and ready. Make sure to hit that like button and comment on your favorite title that I just said for Megatron. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So this is one of the short stories we were given in the Energon Universe special. It begins with the Battle of the Ark, where we see Megatron as a one bot wrecking crew. He demolishes every Autobot he comes upon. I freaking love it. He bashes Wheeljack and says, I pity you Autobots. I see your struggle. You fight with honor and passion. If only your cause were just. He tosses aside Cliffjumper and blasts a hole through Braun's chest with his fusion cannon. Like damn son. Optimus becomes enraged and charges at Megatron while saying stop this. Megatron replies, never. The two leaders start exchanging blows, but Megatron is too powerful and eventually gains the upper hand. He smashes Optimus and adds insult to injury by puncturing one of Optimus's optics while saying, your weakness was the downfall of Cybertron. Suddenly, Optimus whips out his Energon axe and slices off Megatron's fusion cannon arm. Optimus kicks him, sending him flying toward an opening of the ship. Megatron manages to grab onto the edge of the opening. He asks Starscream for help, and the Seeker replies, Shh, don't worry, rest now. Let me relieve you of this heavy burden of leadership. He blasts Megatron off the ship, sending him falling into Earth's atmosphere. For the most part, I totally called this all the way back in the second issue of Transformers in my Starscream vs. Duke video. We then go to the present. Megatron awakens and Cobra Law enraged by the memory of Starscream's betrayal. He suddenly breaks free from his bonds and stomps on one of the Cobra Law scientists here and the other is pinned beneath his foot, pleading for his life. Megatron demands to know where his limbs are. The scientist tells him only one was found and points to a room where it's being held. Megatron allows him to live and finds his left arm. He reattaches it, but at that moment, Lord Gelobulus enters the room atop this mighty looking beast with his entire royal guard. He says, do not let this beast escape. I love Megatron's response to that. He chuckles and says, Beast, so shall it be. He charges toward them and starts beating down the Royal Guard. Galobulus becomes enraged and yells, You are a metal abomination, inorganic filth. You still belong to me. His beast bites and slugs Megatron. What's surprising here is this beast's jaws are strong enough to penetrate Cybertronian armor. However, this only stops Megatron for a moment. He responds, pathetic insect. Do you know who I am? I belong to no one. He unleashes his Energon mace and smashes Galobulus's beast, putting it down for the count. Galobulus counters, you are mistaken beast, and throws his spear into Megatron's only optic. Megatron pulls the spear out of his optic and says, no, I am the leader of the Decepticons the leader of the true way, the only way. Now blind and full of rage, Megatron flees the battle by flying up and bursting through the surface of the snowy mountains. Atop one of the mountains, he says, I am coming for you, Starscream. Now this next portion we're gonna cover was in the final issue of Cobra Commander. Sometime later in the aftermath of Megatron's escape, while speaking to Pythona, Galobulus expresses how furious he is over Cobra Commander's monstrosity escaping and nearly destroying their home. Pythona mentions bringing an outsider into their world was a mistake, and informs Galobulus that she hasn't heard from Nemesis Enforcer in many days, and assumes he failed in his mission to kill Cobra Commander. Galobulus shows her the discovery he's made in Cobra Commander's lab, which reveals that the Commander lied to him about the origin of Megatron. He wasn't from the outside world like the commander had told him. He says he comes from a world of blasphemous metal, our opposite in the universe. They betray our very being and everything we stand for. 
and they are here now and will bring about our demise. We must send another agent to find the commander and bring him back to us so I can squeeze the life out of him myself. Pythona replies, I will explore the source of these invaders. If this Empire of Steel wishes to take what is ours, I will uncover their history and weaknesses and bring this war to the stars. Pythona launches on an organic ship into space heading to Cybertron. Megatron has escaped and Korbala has declared war on Cybertron. The Energon Universe is heating up and I'm excited. If you want to enjoy more of the Energon Universe, the playlist is in the pinned comment below and right here. I hope you all enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and other than that, have an awesome day and always remember every day to go beyond.